The rear of the Sunblade 8000 modular system houses all the main interconnect options for the server modules and consists of capacity for 20 PCI Express Express modules, four PCI Express Network Express modules, one or two chassis monitoring modules, six independent power inlets energizing the power supplies, and nine hot swappable rear fan modules. I.O. modules are a requirement for any configuration and they come in two flavors. Network Express modules, which offer bulk I.O. for all 10 server modules, or PCI Express Express modules, which offer individual server I.O. for granular system configuration. Let's start with the PCI Express Express modules. There are a total of 20 PCI Express Express module slots per chassis. Two of these express modules are assigned to each blade. All the wiring has been done through the mid-plane, so there is a fixed assignment of the express modules to the blades they are connected to. From right to left, the first two EM slots are assigned to server module 0. The next two are assigned to server module 1, and so on. There are three types of EMs that Sun will provide. Dual port gigabit ethernet express module, Dual port 4 gigabits per second fiber channel module. Dual port for X InfiniBand module. PCI Express Express modules are based on an industry standard defined by the PCI SIG. So more types of PCI Express Express modules will become available from Sun and third parties to further enhance I.O. flexibility. Each module has two ports for Ethernet connection and below that are two LEDs and the attention button. The fault LED indicates that there is a PCI Express communication problem. The green LED indicates the Express module is functioning properly. The attention button is used to notify the OS running on the server module that the I.O. component will be removed. After the operating system deactivates the I.O. device, the green LED extinguishes. Up to four PCI Express Network Express modules, or NEMs, may be configured per chassis. These modules offer bulk I.O. to all the server modules, which means that by inserting a single module, all the blades have the same type of I.O. on that particular PCI Express interface. The first NEM that is available from Sun is the pass-through Gigabit Ethernet Network Express module. The module itself includes 20 Gigabit Ethernet ports and provides two Gigabit Ethernet interface ports to each server module. From right to left, the first ports belong to Blade Server Module 0, the next two to Server Module 1, and so on. There is no switching capability inside this module, so there may be no communication between servers using only the NEM. In order to achieve communication between server modules or to other networks, an external switch is required. The Network Express module includes a number of indicators and buttons which enable setup, maintenance and troubleshooting. OK Normal. This LED is normally lit with a green light. But when an NEM is being removed, it will flash until the activity has completed. If the removal is successful, the LED extinguishes and the ready-to-remove LED lights up. The fault LED lights up when there is a problem with the PCI Express signaling of the module. The attention button is used when you want to notify the system that the module will be removed. Once it's been pressed, the action can be cancelled within five seconds by pressing the button again. Once the removal action has been initiated, the NEM contacts all the server modules to indicate that the I.O. module will be going away. If all the blade server modules allow the removal to take place, then the OK Normal LED will shut off and the Ready to Remove LED will illuminate. Ready to remove illuminates when the module is unconfigured and ready for removal. Locator button LED is used for identification purposes. 
The CMM provides remote management to the chassis and the server modules via a network or serial port. And it provides network access to the server module's ILOM remote management interfaces. Although the server modules do not require the CMM to be functional, the CMM does enable additional features in managing the chassis and the server modules. A single chassis monitoring module is included with all chassis configurations and a second CMM may be installed for higher availability of the remote monitoring and management capabilities as an option. The CMM is effectively two components in a single package. The first is the CMM Integrated Lights Out Management or ILOM. This piece provides monitoring of the server modules and chassis as well as chassis management. The second part is an integrated switch which is exclusively used to provide network access to the CMM ILOM remote management features and to the server module ILOM remote management features. The switch is not a managed switch and it does not provide any interfaces for external use. It is entirely controlled by the CMM ILOM internally. The CMM network and serial port connectivity options are two 1 gigabit Ethernet interfaces which aggregate the remote management traffic of the CMM and the server module ILOM network interfaces. One of the ports is used to connect to the network and the other one serves as an auxiliary port for network connectivity. The DB9 serial connection provides access to the CMM ILOM command line interface. It uses standard serial RS-232 communications with the following characteristics. 9600 boards per second speed, 8-bit, no parity, one-stop bit, no flow control. A DB9 to RJ45 dongle is provided for flexible connectivity to terminal concentrators or other devices. The CMM has a few indicators and buttons which provide information on the status of the module. On the right side of the unit is the master LED. This LED indicates which CMM is currently active. The standby CMM will have this indicator extinguished. The left side of the unit has the indicator LEDs. Ready to remove LED. Illuminates when the CMM is prepared for removal from the remote management interface. The CMM will fail over to the standby CMM if there is one available. OK normal LED. When the CMM is booting upon first power on or insertion, the OK normal LED will blink on and off. A solid green light indicates that it is operating normally. The fault LED indicates failure on either the CMM ILOM or the switch. The locator LED button is bright white for identification purposes. Two additional buttons are also present a CMM reset and a CMM password reset which reverts the administrator password to factory defaults. Six independent power supply inlets provide energy to the power supplies. LED indicators show if the inlet is being energized by the power cord. In the middle of this panel is a rear mounted operator panel identical to the one on the front. Cooling for the server modules is provided by the rear fan modules. Each rear fan module includes two fans and they are redundant as well as hot swappable. Rear fan modules only have one multi-purpose LED which indicates the state of the fan. Operating normally, fault, off. As with the other modules discussed previously, the CMM should be made aware that the module is being removed. 